All right. City of Holyoke Pledge of Commitment. Want me to read this? Sure. Our organization is pleased to join Mass Higher Holyoke in their initiative to change the culture of our community and workplace to support individuals impacted by addiction and substance use. As committed leaders in employee well-being, together we can advance this issue as a central priority for all employers and decrease the impact of substance use, improve productivity, and increase employee engagement in the workplace. Collectively, we commit to the following best practices. Long-term commitment. We will engage in values-driven organizational change toward wellness and safety promotion with a commitment to continuous improvement. Also, promote supportive policy and practices. We will support employee health and well-being through comprehensive policies, education, and resources. Also, eliminate stigma, social prejudice, and discrimination. We will engage in shifting attitudes and changing behaviors through comprehensive efforts, including education and policy review. Also, adopt a proactive prevention approach. We will actively work to prevent harm to worker, to worker by producing risk factors and increasing protective factors in how work is organized and how people are managed. And also, provide a coordinated response. We will play a vital role in creating improved access to seamless connections to treatment, services, resources, and support. Also, early and effective workplace interventions. We will ensure that performance, absence, and disability management systems intervene early and effectively through supportive conversations that engage the employee in collaborative solutions. Lastly, continuous evaluation. We will measure all efforts to ensure quality outcomes, accountability, and to contribute to the growing body of knowledge about how workplace mental health as a field of study. Together, we aim to implement proven best practices to boost productivity and engagement and improve the lives of our employees, their families, our customers, and the broader community we are dedicated to supporting. I'm going to pick one of these pens and sign this pledge. Thank you. <laughs> uh, employer's signature. RRW. That would be me. That would be you? Yeah. You can keep Ooh. that pen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've signed this pledge. Uh, I do want to thank you so much, our friends from Mass Hire, for doing the work out in the community, but also collaborating with us, the municipality, the city, and, you know, not only practicing, not only you know, talking the talk, but also helping us walk the walk as well for our own employees. Yeah. Um, we, we commend you on taking this first step. You're the first municipality to sign on for this. And you know, you have 3,000 employees, but that could be up to 10,000 people that you touch in a community by the trickle, trickle effect of that's it. supporting them. And that's what it's about, is just getting the education out there and really sub understanding what substance use disorder is and supporting the people that either have it or the loved ones that are trying to support them. Right. So I really do appreciate it and thank you for that. And our personnel director. Yes, she was key. <laughs> is there anything that you want to add there, Kelly? No, I'm just happy for the partnership and um, being able to support um, <laughs> people in recovery or employees that are supporting their family in recovery. Kelly, who does this cover uh, under under the agreement? Um, so it covers most of the city um, employees, uh, City Hall, Annex, DPW, um, Wisteria Hearst, uh, Council on Aging. What am I missing, Stephanie? Um, yeah. And you said the Hoyt was the first municipality to sign? Yes, Ramona shared that we are the first municipality to sign. How was the release, uh, how's the constants released back in March? Uh, how many folks have you signed up at this point? Right now we have about 11 employers that we're working with. I think seven have taken the pledge and we're just starting to roll out the trainings and stuff. Um, summer was a busy time for everybody, so now in the fall we're focusing on 
um, doing some trainings for employers, Recovery 101, you know, understanding what recovery is, maybe some Narcam training and just whatever. It really comes down to whatever the employer feels they can handle or need because it's not like one size fits all. There's so many different sizes of employers that yeah. and their needs. So It's the greatest effort of uh, removing that stigma about addiction. Yeah, the, who's your question? The sti- removing the stigma from addiction. It's is about the definitely struggle? removing the stigma from addiction, and, and really, the more education and more people we reach, the better the stigma. To, so people don't suffer in silence; that they recover out loud, and they're there to support each other. We found that you know having recovery capital, which is your community and your faith and your family, is so important to people being successful in the recovery. And, and mayor, are you speaking to other mayors about this? Other executives in, in, in the region about uh, the importance of, of a program like this? I will be now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't to date, <laughs> okay. but I do encourage my colleagues in uh, uh, in government here to um, take a look at this and do what we can to um, you know create a, a better and safer environment for our workforce. Uh, it's a complicated matter. Uh, we had this training with our um, staff here in the personnel office, um, and we talked about the complexity behind this particular um, concern. And, uh, you know, I tell folks all the time, nevertheless, that Holyoke's a place of compassion. And when it comes to that level of compassion, it's gonna come with um, quality of life challenges and workplace challenges. And we can't let those challenges uh, make us lose sight of who we are as a community. And so it's about working together, it's about being proactive and, and understanding the bigger picture and doing what we can to help people navigate this complicated situation. And there's no one size fits all. There's gonna be um, errors along, not errors, but you know, moments when you do what you can and it just didn't, uh, you know, we can't let those one, um, those, you know, one scenario, um, you know, make us lose sight of the next person we can potentially help. So we're gonna do our best um, to be sure that, you know, we want our employees here in the city to know that their employer supports them and feel comfortable with reaching out and connecting and and utilizing the services and the resources available to them to help, you know, uh, close those gaps that are happening Mm -hmm. in their own personal lives, so. Yeah. We're currently trying to work with advocates for human potential to take this across the state. So it's not just a Hamden County um, initiative, it's across the state. Mm-hmm. Connecticut, New Hampshire, and other states are adopting it. So you want to really try and make that difference because we have such a high rate of overdoses in Massachusetts. For any employers who will be interested in joining this, this initiative and, and sign a pledge, what will be the steps for them to follow? Just go to the website and you can send us an email or call me and then we'll reach out to you. Um, there's not really exact, but we have, we'll meet with them, see what they want to do, develop, help them develop a plan as to how they want to implement it because everybody's different, as you said earlier. And then we'll just work with them through our, with our team and through our partners in the community to help them reach whatever goal it is they want at their place. But the overall is just having a commitment to be the voice of change in, when it comes to the stigma around substance use disorder. And, and with it also comes mental health issues too, though. Right. There's a lot of mental health that goes side and side. A lot of people are dual diagnosed. I mean, one of the reasons why I got into, why I thought about this years ago, it's taken me seven years to really get off the ground, was because we work with the Hammond County Sheriff's Department and 85% of the men and women we work with have substance use disorder. And so, you know, we're getting them jobs and that, but we're not, we don't have the wraparound support in place for them to be successful if they're having a bad day. And now, and now with recovery and coaching from uh, Choice Recovery and the support we have from community partners, we have more of a solid support system for them to be more successful. Good. 